NASA has discovered more water on the moon than previously thought. Joining us is Dr. Casey Honnibal from NASA. Casey, how much more water have you discovered? So on the sunlit surface of the moon, we measure about 100 to 400 parts per million, which if we put that into perspective is the Sahara Desert, the sand is 100 times more wet than the lunar surface. Why hasn't this been discovered until now? The reason we didn't do this before was because we thought the surface should be dry of water because we didn't think it could survive the harsh lunar environment. And so people just thought water couldn't survive on the sunlit moon. And so I guess they just never looked. Does this mean there could be alien life on the moon? So water is only a small building block on forming life and sustaining life. The lunar environment is actually pretty harsh. And so it is unlikely that life could survive on the surface of the moon. So does this discovery increase the chances of human settlement on the moon? So right now the abundances that we measure are kind of low. Obviously the Sahara Desert's a lot more wet. So because the abundances we measure are low, we really need to understand better the abundance of water and the distribution of water on the sunlit surface of the moon. So right now it doesn't really help us, but it provides a small puzzle piece and that can inform future exploration. How long has it taken to reach this discovery? So I, I think this is really interesting is uh, actually in 1969, Hunt and Salisbury actually saw this six micron feature that we were looking for. That's a chemical fingerprint of molecular water. And they published their spectrum in a paper, but they made no mention of it. So they had seen this thing, but they didn't, I guess they didn't know that they had made this really big discovery all the way back then. And then nobody, everybody that read the paper didn't know. And so, I, yeah, it's kind of an interesting uh, thing that it took so long to get here. <laughs> What's the next step in your moon studies? So we really need to observe the moon a lot more. And so we have two additional hours on Sophia and we've proposed for an additional 72 hours. And what we want to do is we want to map as much of this near side of the moon as we possibly can. And this will tell us um, how the water is stored, its distribution, its abundance, and if it's moving on the surface of the moon and possibly a supply of water to the polar regions. Was the moon once part of Earth? Yeah, so that's the current thinking of how the moon was formed is that a uh, Mars size, I believe, yeah, Mars size impactor impacted with the, the Earth and it created this Earth moon system. So that's what the current understanding is. It's called the giant impact theory. Um, what we are detecting might, won't be able to tell us anything about that, but that's the current understanding. Thank you so much for your time. For more, visit australianonlinenews.com.au.